Okay, folks, so I'm very excited to announce that we have arrived to Pollination Day, and I am very excited. This is almost like an orchid holiday for me because this has been long awaited and very much anticipated. And what we will be doing today is cross-pollinating these wonderful Vandas that we have right here. Of course, an effort to create some phenomenal hybrids. And if you guys have been following my channel, you guys know I have been doing this project for a while now. And I actually have about three or four videos. And if you guys have not seen those videos, I would highly recommend that you watch them. Because I do share some critical and very potent information on each and every one of those videos and it'll catch you up to speed and give you behind the scenes of what went on and what we had to do to get us to this point. And without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get this pollination party started. And I'm going to go ahead and show you each and every one of these Vandas that we will be cross-pollinating. And remember, folks, these are the Vandas that you guys have selected to have pollinated. So indeed, I truly do appreciate your participation in helping me to select these Vandas. And I really couldn't have done it without you. And the very first Vanda that we are taking a look at is this Vanda, Cindy Banks, Bill's Choice. And I have to say, what an awesome selection. And right here, folks, I have to say, is one of the most gorgeous Mimi Palmers that I have ever seen with a purple color, but yet having a greenish glaze to the bloom. Definitely gorgeous, striking, and very unique. And this Vanda right here is a Tessalata cross with a Memorial Lyle Swanson. This beautiful Vanda right here is two-toned of a nice lavender and also grayish, greenish color. Very unique. Also, this is one of my most delicious and scrumptious smelling Vandas as well. Definitely a nice combination of a Tessalata and also a Fulcata. This is the beautiful Ben Jasmine. And this very gorgeous and tropically colored Vanda right here is so explosive in its fusion of colors. And what is also a delight to know is that this Vanda right here was actually named by a good friend and also my Vanda coach, Stuart of Mainly Vandas. Hint the name MV. This is the MV Tannins Kirk. And just as a side note, I do want to let you guys know this was not a part of the initial selection process. This was added at a later date, but as you can see with the gorgeousness of the bloom, I'd be crazy not to include it with our cross-pollination project. Now here is actually one more Vanda that we do want to cross pollinate but as you see the bud is actually still in production and this will not come into bloom. I would say it would take about two more weeks. So we're not going to be able to do it in this go round as far as doing it today but we are going to do this at a later date and we're going to do that by actually storing pollen from the other Vandas. Now if you don't have any idea on how to store pollen you can go ahead and click on this link and it'll take you to that video where I specifically described how to do just that. Now we did actually have one more Vanda that we were supposed to cross pollinate. It was the Vanda Lata Fragrance Nick, but unfortunately that spike prematurely aborted. So we're not gonna be able to pollinate that gorgeous Vanda this go round. And in this bin right here actually contains our materials that we will be using in our pollination today. So as you can see right here, these are our pre-laminated tags. And these tags are actually going to be tagging each and every single pod that we will be harvesting. And that will be a way that we can keep track of what pod is what actual hybrid. And as you see, they have been pre-laminated because we want to make sure that they are protected where they can outlast the duration of the maturing of the actual pod because it can take up to a year for these actual pods to mature. Now right here we have the actual toothpicks that we are going to be using for the pollination and also we're going to be using them to store the pollen as well and these are the containers that we went ahead and pre-tagged with the name and also the date of what pollen is to be stored in each of these containers. And look here guys, I guess I'm going to have to start pollinating like right away because we have a bee that is 
a busy little bee and he wants to beat us to the punch with the pollination. So let's get started right now. So to get started, I actually want to go around and select the literal bloom that I want to go ahead and pollinate. And after I've selected the blooms, I want to go ahead and start tagging them. And a part of the process of selecting the blooms is looking through and identifying which blooms look the most healthiest. Also, another tip to pollinating is if you can find a healthy bloom that is nearest to the plant itself, meaning at the base of the spike, that would be a good selection, just as long as it's a healthy bloom. So with that being said, let's go ahead and start selecting and also tagging our blooms. And the way that we are actually going to tag the Vanda, if you remember correctly in one of my videos, I did explain that the mother or the seed parent will always be the first name labeled. And then afterwards would be the father or the pollen parent. So in this case, because the seed or the mother is the Vanda Cindy Banks, Bill's choice, and also the father is the Mimi Palmer, the actual tag itself will go on on the seed or the mother parent, which is the Vanda Cindy Banks Bill's Choice. And on some of these, I've actually decided to reverse pollinate certain Vandas, as you can see in these two tags right here, where I'm using the same Vanda types, but I'm allowing both Vandas to play the role of both parents. And the reasoning behind that is because it is said that the mother plant will actually carry the stronger traits in what is exposed in the Vanda hybrid. So you can expect to see more features of the mother plant in the actual hybrid itself. So in this case, both of these Vandas right here, the Mimi Palmer and also the Cindy Banks, both are my favorite orchids. So I want to see exactly what we can get with the variation of using both of them as the mother and also the father parent. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get the Vanda tagging started. And as you can see here, the seed parent or the mother plant is the Vanda Cindy Banks Bill's Choice. So we're going to go ahead and go to the Cindy Banks and we're going to select which blossom we want to choose. And if we're going to use a tip where we're going to use the blossom that is closest to the plant, it would be the one at the base of the spike. And in this case, this has already been pollinated. This is the one closest to the base. So so we can't do that any longer. This would be the next one up. And if you didn't see the video where we actually showed you the pollination of this pod, you can click right here on that link and it'll take you to that video. And here we go, folks. So we're gonna officially tag this bloom right here and boom, you have been officially tagged. And you have been officially tagged and boom, you have been tagged. And you know, you have definitely have been tagged. And of course, we wouldn't want to leave you out either, would we? You beautiful blossom, you. Of course not. Alrighty, folks, and here you can see we indeed have been hard at work actually tagging each and every last one of these blossoms that we are going to pollinate. And we are finally done, so we're going to move on to the next step. Okay, so this one right here is going to be the first bloom we are going to be pollinating. And this will be the pollen parent, so we are going to take the pollen from the Mimi Palmer. And here we go. Right here, that cap is on there, but as you can see, there goes the pollen. We're just going to tap it a little bit, get that cap off of there. And here we are, and you can see the pollen now without the pollen cap. And we're just going to go ahead and put it in this area right here right in that open hole and there you have it folks it is done and complete this is an mv tenens and we're going to be crossing it with a cindy banks okay and here we go getting that pollen there and it's within this cap right here so let's go ahead and take it out of that cap and there it goes and here we are back at the mv tenens and we're just going to work it in there if we can get it in there, whoop, come on, there you go. And then you can also pull it upwards because it has somewhat of a tooth where it can go through and pull. And there goes the end of the sticky portion and then it's already lodged within that uh, sticky area that it needs to 
get pollinated so that's done and as I do finish pollinating each blossom I go ahead and put my mark at the end so I do know which ones have been pollinated and yay finally the laborious act of cross-pollinating all of these blooms are now complete and I do have to tell you it was quite a tedious task but I'm so hoping it will be one that is so well worth it and now that that tedious task is complete we have one more thing left to do. If you guys remember, I was telling you that we actually have to store some pollen from some of these blossoms in order to cross-pollinate this Tatsurai at a later date. And all we have to do is collect that pollen. Ta-da! Right there. And we're going to store it in its proper container, which is right here. And I'm just going to go ahead and cover it up. And we're going to seal it and then we're gonna bring it indoors at room temperature and we're gonna keep this in a shadier area and this should hold for a good three months. And we'll also get one from the Ben Jasmine and there you go little guy, safe and sound in your little bed. Sleep tight. And there you have it folks, yet another mission completed. And now all there is left to do is to wait and keep our fingers crossed and indeed hope for the best. Now I'm going to ask you guys to please keep your fingers crossed with me. Again, it can take up to a year roundabout for them to come into maturity and you guys know anything can happen in between that time. So I need your good and positive vibes being sent my way. I do want to show you exactly which ones I cross pollinated. It'd be a shame to go through this whole thing and you guys wouldn't even know exactly what we pollinated. So let's go ahead and show you all of the crosses. Okay, so for the Ben Jasmine, which is the mother parent, it is crossed with the MV Tannins Kirk, the Mimi Palmer, and the Cindy Banks Bill's Choice. And this gorgeous Mimi Palmer, she is the seed parent, and we crossed her with the Vanda Tessalata times with the Vanda Memorial Lyle Swanson. Also the Vanda Ben Jasmine, the MV Tannins Kirk, and the Cindy Banks Bill's Choice. And this MV Tannins is Mama Orchid, and we crossed it with the Mimi Palmer, the Vanda Tessalata Times Memorial Lyle Swanson, and of course the Vanda Cindy Banks Bill's Choice. And this is the Vanda Tessalata Times with a Vanda Memorial Lyle Swanson, and she is the expecting mother, and we crossed her with the Vanda MV Tannins Kirk, and also the Mimi Palmer. And we have absolutely saved the best for last. This is Mama Cindy Banks Bill's Choice, and we have crossed her with a Vanda Kultana Fragrance Gold, a Vanda MV Tannins Kirk, also the Mimi Palmer, and the Vanda Ben Jasmine. So as you guys can see, we should be able to get some pretty phenomenal hybrids from these awesome orchids right here. Now because of the hybrids that we do intend on creating will be germinated via through their seeds and not via through a cloning process, it should be noted that each and every one of the seedlings will create different bloom variations. So in other words, each seedling will be like a snowflake in which the blooms will all be different. A variation of form, perhaps color, perhaps size of blooms. I mean, anything goes when it comes to what they want to create. Indeed, it's like that box of chocolate. You never do know what you're going to get. So indeed, we are looking for quite a surprise. I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. I'm about to lose control and I think I like it. And there you have it folks, that is a complete Vanda Pollination Propagation Orchid Holiday Wrap. Now I do have to ask you guys, do you think we are going to be capable of coming up with some phenomenal hybrids from these orchids right here? And also let me know which ones do you think would make the best hybrid and be sure to post those comments below.
I thank you guys so much for joining me on this pollination adventure and I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something new from it. If you did like this video, please be sure to like, share and also subscribe. Be sure to turn your notification bell button on so you'll be notified every time I do post a new video. And don't forget to join me on Facebook as well at My Orchid Adventures. Thank you guys so much. And as you guys already know, I do truly love and appreciate you guys all. I will see you guys later and I'll also grow with you guys later as well. Bye bye for now. Mwah.